are the Egg Chasers Rugby Podcast. Uh, my name's Tim. Phil. JB. We've done this enough to know what we're doing now. Uh, and we're, we're, it's a, a rugby show for rugby fans. It's actually a programme. Um, a programme is factual, a show is entertainment. We do a bit of both. Yeah. Well, Sometimes. So. We don't take ourselves or the game too seriously. Uh, we just love rugby. We started the podcast in my radio studio yeah. that I, that where I work, and then I got fired. <laughs> we would sneak in. We would sneak in on, yeah. on a Sunday. Sunday, there's no one else about 8 p.m. on a Sunday night. Fortunately, JB has enough room in his house. He has a basement flat that we uh, we turned into the rugby dungeon. Yeah, we were buying bits of kit with no real idea if we needed them or not. You know, by hook or by crook, we somehow built the studio. So we wanted a weekend away, which as much as anything was probably blow off steam, get away from the family for a weekend. <laughs> we, we worked very hard. We just said, we're going to come. We just, in conversation, and then all of a sudden people were like, hey, if you're going, we'll come. When we were looking at this fixture, which for the past few years have been the decider of the tournament, and which this year will be the decider of the tournament, it just seemed like too good an opportunity to miss. It feels to me that rugby's on a tipping point now, where the you know the so-called tier twos are really starting to advance. I, I think in the next few years we're going to see a huge amount of growth. As we're all going to be here, and there's a uh, hundred or so, hundred or more people coming out to kind of watch the game with us, we started discussing whether we could get together some kind of live show. So I've done live radio, I've done live telly, but I'm more petrified about this, this than anything I've done. Because it is it's kind of like we're responsible for everything. We haven't got a clue what we're doing, really. Uh, I think the easier part about it is, and the thing which will make it go smoothly, is actually the fans, because there's a lot of goodwill involved. Welcome to this, the very first Egg Chasers rugby podcast live. We can get the monkey off our back about this unbeaten run. It's just a game and Ireland were worthy winners. But <laughs> what's the next step? Uh, which, it, yeah. which stadium holds the... Listen to the Egg Chasers for a couple of years now and obviously really love the pod. I think it's really easy to just stick like a couple of ex-professionals onto a podcast. I kind of like the fact that it feels like it's just a chat with the lads. Um, it's the kind of it's the same jokes that like we all make as fans. You know, you can relate to the guys that are talking and there's you know really engaging stuff. In there. The moment they kind of suggested this whole trip, we straight on you know got the flows. Show. Better than expectations. Well done. Thank, thank well you. Done. Well done, no, well Tim. Done. They made such a big difference. Their enthusiasm and their enjoyment of the show. The most important thing is the game, Georgia Romania game, and we've got a hundred people who are going to go and enjoy that. And we're all going to have a, a great time brilliant, together. A brilliant time. That's yeah. rugby, isn't it? That's rugby. is brilliant. Game is brutal, physical. I, I don't want to take my eyes off the game. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> this is tense. This is genuinely tense. <laughs> I, I would say this is a home from home. Well, do you know what? Yeah. Like, it, I feel really comfortable here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a small crowd, yeah. but intensely knowledgeable. They know their stuff here. I feel really grateful to have watched that. I'm going to gonna remember that. To be here, yeah. watching that, watching that little bit of history, like you say. And seeing how much it meant to the Romanian locals and to that team. What it meant to that Romanian team was quite spectacular. Well, yeah, they were celebrating as if they'd won the World Cup. It, it was, it was that it, kind it, of magnitude. So what, so what I've heard is, apparently there's going to be a big celebration in town. So on that note, what, what an experience. Let's go. The amazing thing about um, doing this and social media is there's no geographical boundaries to anything that we do. The best part about the podcast is the, pe is the people that you meet in rugby. You don't realise how many substantial people are actually in, in the game until you go out there uh, and start meeting the fans. 